Woo! Good morning, you guys. Welcome to another What I Eat in a Day video. Let me go on it. I'm gonna take it off. Yeah, I had my hair kind of kind of down under this from yesterday. But yeah, welcome to another What I Eat in a Day video. I'm gonna show you a full day of eating. I'm getting ready to go to the gym. It is like nine o'clock in the morning. Doing my apple cider vinegar shot this morning. Almost out of apple cider vinegar, but I want to talk to you guys um, this morning as I'm getting ready about kind of body updates where I am. I think I'm gonna have half of a protein shake before I go to the gym. The one I'm gonna have today is by Plant Fusion. It is the complete plant protein. No, I'm not plant-based. I'm not eliminating any particular food from my diet. I've tried keto, I've tried being vegan. I think my overall approach now is just overall balance not limiting carbs, not eliminating any certain product. I think I am just happier that way. But the reason I got this plant protein is because if you look at the nutritional profile, well, you can't see it, but the nutritional profile is actually pretty good. It's got a good balance of protein and carbs. So I don't have to like have like a protein shake and a piece of bread or something like that to get a good mix in. So I'm gonna have half of it because as I've mentioned before in my previous What I Eat In A Day videos, I do not like working out on a full stomach. Like I like to be like super, I like to have a super empty stomach. I will say though, if you're vegan or plant-based, this is actually a really great tasting protein shake. Um, a lot of plant-based protein powders are kind of like gritty, but this is like smooth. This is very smooth and chocolatey and creamy. Hey guys, so it is 9.51, it's like an hour later, but I like to get my food time to digest. I'm finally putting on my shoes and socks to get ready to go to the gym. But while I'm doing that, I wanted to kind of talk to you guys and give you an update on where I'm at. So when it comes to this journey now, I think my overall goal, yes, I would like to see that number on the scale go down a little bit more, but my overall goal is to make sure, that's not my butt, my butt's sliding. But my overall goal is to make sure that I am looking a certain way. I want a certain look, a certain physique. Like I want to have muscles. I want to look muscular and lean. Like I don't want to not like muscular like where I'm like, oh, but you know, <laughs> I want to look toned. That's my goal. So looking toned, the look is the overall thing over the number. And it's hard sometimes because I have to remind myself of that because in like today's age, you see like, especially on social media and all of these, um, fitness accounts and things like that like oh these are my results after 30 days or I ate only pineapple for 30 days and I lost 80 pounds you know you see stuff like that but I think what this journey has taught me overall is that's not necessarily realistic I mean it's realistic because people are doing it but I don't think it's sustainable or something you know you can maintain long term so in December I got a body fat analysis done and that was kind of interesting because in December, when I stepped on the little machine, it, it, it gives you a, it gives an analysis of your body fat and your muscle and your weight. So back in December, is this the December one? I weighed 162.7, 56, I had 56.4 pounds of body fat. So that was kind of like, oh. Um, but then when I went back, my body fat, I did reduce to 50.5 pounds of body fat, but still the number didn't change by very much. It was 160.4. What happened in that time is I put on muscle. So that was kind of interesting. Like for instance, my muscle percentage in December was, uh, 59.3. And then when I went back in January, it went up to 61.3. So you have to remember the scale is not the only measure of success. Um, I say that to encourage myself too, like when I look back on this. And if you too, like if you're noticing the scale isn't moving and you know you're doing what you're supposed to do, take the scale with a grain of salt because it's just one thing. Take progress pictures, get an analysis done so you can see. So that way you don't feel discouraged if you're not seeing the results as quickly as you want. Sometimes that number will stay the same, but you can see the physical changes. So the number might stay the same, but your overall body composition is changing. Keep going, you know, keep going. Don't stop. If you have one bad day or one bad meal, the next meal is another opportunity to do it better. Oh no, I gotta have a little pre-workout. and some BCAAs to go with my water. It is 12.07, I am back from the gym, finally. I am starving, I'm gonna have a big old salad. Let me show you. 
My salad is going to consist of 263 grams of iceberg lettuce, 5.35 ounces of Roma tomatoes, 1.75 ounces of this feta cheese, two servings of this Kraft balsamic dressing, and I'm going to have one slice of Ezekiel toast for some carbs. Also, I'm taking this probiotic and a multivitamin. This is the full meal. I guess you could call this brunch because it's like noon now and I'm probably not going to eat again until like 3 o'clock. Hey y'all, it's 3.26 p.m. I just got back home from running some errands. So I'm starving again, of course. So I was thinking about what to make and I really, really wanted something like chocolatey and like just decadent. I wanted to make like some Kodiak cakes and like some chocolate sauce, but then I was like, oh, that's not really going to be like super filling and it's going to like... You know, I could eat more if I ate something a little different. So what I've decided to make is some chicken breast, some broccoli, two servings of broccoli, a half serving of rice, and I'm going to have half of a Kodiak cake with a little bit of chocolate sauce. So for the same amount of calories and pretty much macros that I would have had if I would have eaten an entire Kodiak cake um, with like a serving of egg whites, I can just have the best of both worlds. I use kitchen shears to cut up my chicken, like my raw meats, and it's like been a lifesaver like this is definitely a good investment I'm having three servings of this chicken breast I'm only gonna do a very little bit of olive oil just to coat the pan a little bit I don't use very much oil oh, that's not even half a tablespoon Doesn't that look good? Oh yeah. So we're a few bites in and let me just tell y'all, I did that. So I have my delicious Kodiak cake here, the chocolate sauce. I actually made it with just half a tablespoon of honey and some cocoa powder. And I also made myself a cup of coffee because I have like a sweet tooth like out of this world and I'm trying to be good, you know? Also, did you guys know, like, the Keurig pods, like, the kinds that come with, like, the sugar and stuff, or not sugar, but the sweetener and stuff already in them, did you know that you can make these without a Keurig? You can literally puncture these open and just add hot water, and it is exactly the same thing. I don't know if it works that way for the regular coffee grinds, but yeah, my husband should. Alright, so it is 7.45. I'm going to go ahead and have an early dinner. Um, what I made was some beef. Red bell peppers, onions, half a serving of kidney beans, some tomatoes, added some kale, some jalapenos, and like some taco seasoning. And I'm gonna top this all with a half serving of sharp cheddar cheese. All right, so I just got back from picking up Emmanuel from work. Say hey. Hey. And I'm about to have my dessert. So for dessert, what time is it again? You said it's 9.15. 9.15. So you guys are probably like, what the heck is that? It is a serving and a half of Halo Top, um, a little bit of decaf coffee powder. I'm weird like that. A little bit of peanut butter powder and a serving of almonds. This is it. I'm not going to eat anything else after this. I promise no midnight snacking either. Um, if you guys like these What I Eat Today videos, or if you have any questions or want to see like a certain style or something like that, just leave a comment down below. What did you guys eat today? Or tell me, tell me something you guys ate today in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.